Joining us now is FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell. Uh, Administrator Criswell, thank you for joining us. Can you give us the latest on the search and recovery efforts in Maui? Good morning, John. I, the update that I got last evening is right now the search efforts are 78% complete uh, in Lahaina Town. And we continue to have our teams on the ground going through all of the structures uh, that were lost as a result of this fire. Um, but we've also given out already over $8 million uh, to families that have been impacted and registered for assistance with FEMA. And our shelter population is down to just over 40, with over 1,200 people that are people that have been moved into hotels, motels, and other types of um, short-term rentals. What should we expect from President Biden's visit tomorrow? You know, I think the biggest thing is he's going to be able to see what I saw when I went to Maui last week and just really experience the um, complete and utter devastation that this town had experienced. Um, but he's also going to be able to uh, talk with people and hear their stories and provide a sense of hope um, and assurance that the federal government is going to be with them um, as he has directed. And we will continue to bring in resources to support the requests of the governor and the needs as they go through their recovery process. As you bring in those resources, what now at this point are the greatest needs for survivors in Maui? The biggest thing for them right now is that we continue to get them into the system so they can either move from congregate sheltering, where, again, that population has reduced drastically, and into this short-term rental assistance, whether that's in a hotel or a motel using Airbnb. And then as we continue to work with the governor and his team, working with each of these individuals, each of these families, to help them with what they're uh, longer term strategy is going to be and where they're going to stay while they are uh, making plans for what they're going to do to rebuild. And so we've got teams that are working with the individuals case by case because we know that everybody's situation is going to be unique to them. And before you go, what is the latest on Hurricane Hillary as it barrels towards the West Coast? Uh, so, I mean, people really need to take this storm in California serious. It's uh, I think it's interesting that the, the total rain amounts aren't like what we see in some of our um, Atlantic storms and Gulf storms, um, but it's going to really be potentially devastating for them in these desert areas. And so uh, they're going to have impacts for sure. It's just making sure people stay out of harm's way, um, that they don't drive through this water and they take it serious. Thank you, Administrator Chris Well. If you'd like to support the Maui relief effort, scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen or go to our website, abcnews.com for more information on how you can help. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.